I mean, at any moment now, we are supposed to, allegedly, get the official release of the Spider-Man No Way Home poster from Sony, which will, of course, lead us to the next trailer. But it looks like a theater chain might have actually jumped on ahead and started to hand out posters ahead of schedule, as people who saw Eternals over in Germany were treated to exclusive poster prints for Spider-Man No Way Home. So just so we're clear, this isn't the first time this has actually happened. This has happened before with promotional posters being sent to theaters and they ended up putting them up or handing them out to fans like the prints ahead of schedule. I remember, I think it was Age of Ultron that did this way back when. Either way though, here is the poster. As you can see, obviously Peter Parker in the new Iron Spider suit. We got Doctor Strange doing his trademark, about to cast the spell. We got the whole, I guess, uh, teleporting, wormhole, multi-dimension thing happening right behind them with New York, all sorts of bending in weird directions, all concaving in on itself. I guess that's the best way to explain it. While also reverse, uh, you know, I don't know how to explain it. You see what I'm talking about, though. There it is. It's right there. You see exactly what it is. Um, I I'm going to be real with you. If this ends up being the real poster, this is not that good. Um, this poster looks like... You know, your generic random PNGs thrown on there, a couple assets, and they sent it over. Again, this is straight up Sony, though, so this might actually be the poster that they officially reveal. Just, you know, um, it's a worldwide type of thing. It certainly would be an interesting approach, but again, I don't think they want to show their entire hand, show all their cards to everybody. So keeping it in that sort of anticipation realm and only showing off a few things, but teasing what we directly know is happening is the way to go. And I think this poster serves that purpose, but the poster itself is just not that good. And I've seen people say, you know, this is one of those posters you're probably going to see like your Walmart and stuff that's in those poster bins. And it's like, oh, two for 12 or whatever. And yeah, you know, many of the posters for all these comic book films have these generic PNG assets that you could just get on Google. And they just toss them in, toss the logo on there, some quote, and there you go. This is standard procedure, so I don't think there's anything funky here. This could just be one of those posters, or it could legit be the first poster. And if we know anything from Sony and their first posters, they're typically pretty god-awful. I'm going to be real with you. Um, Homecoming has the most infamous worst first poster of all time, I would say. Well, actually, it's kind of up there with X-Men First Class with the floating heads and the silhouettes. Those are pretty god-awful. But, you know, Homecoming in the modern era is pretty terrible. So if this thing is real, brace yourself for some disappointment. But again, I don't think there was a version of this unless they're going to completely change marketing tactics where they just straight up put all three Spider-Men on there. That seems like too far of a stretch. Like, even Mr. Fantastic would be reaching for that one and going, I'm not sure if I should get this, but you never know. 